What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Stephanie, and I wanted to do a little preemptive message before beginning this episode of Sipping Sista. I filmed this a while ago with my friend Nicholas in San Francisco. He is the owner of True Laurel. This was so long ago that True Laurel wasn't even open yet. They just want Best New Bar of San Francisco. So we filmed this at another bar, and we also filmed it with a crew. So this video was filmed and edited by someone who's not me. As you may know, I film and edit all my own videos. So this was really exciting. It was a really big first for me. I had so much fun filming it, but like I said, this was my first time doing something like this. So there are some shots I felt like I should have gotten and you know, just stylistically different things I wanted to change. But I thought, you know what? I should just post it and let y'all see it because I think in the end it is still a great video and I would love to hear your thoughts on it. I think moving forward, I would love to work with different like experts in their field, go to different bars and just learn about singular spirits from different people. So let me know what y'all think. Please be kind and enjoy the video. Hey everyone, it's your girl Stephanie and welcome to another episode of Sipping Sista. Today I am joined by my good friend Nicholas Torres. He is the owner of True Laurel. If you're in San Francisco, come check it out. So I've always been a really big fan of your cocktails. So today I'm very excited because Nicholas is going to show me how to make one. Today we're gonna to be focusing on a spirit forward cocktail. So what do we have in front of us right now? Well, we do have a spirit, so let's uh, start by... Uh, Just taking a sip? Let's, let's start right, yeah, let's take a okay. sip. Let's, let's smell first. Okay. Take a little sip. Sante, let's shoot it back. Damn. Mm. Does that taste Tasty. like something that you've had before or? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> what are you getting? It's very like caramelly, kind of like apples. Mm -hmm. Is that whiskey? It's close to whiskey. Uh, that's actually Armagnac. Uh, Armagnac reminds you of another spirit that you might have heard of. Cognac. Cognac. Cognac is probably the most popular brandy in the world. Okay. Uh, they make some of the most world renowned. Uh, Cognac's, uh, Armagnac, Southwest France, they make some really beautiful brandies as well. Okay, so what is the cocktail that we are going to make today? So I went with brandy because brandy is like, it's really a classic spirit in it. In its heyday, it was at every cocktail bar. People go in and get their brandy Alexanders and such. So today we're gonna to be making what we call a Bombay cocktail. It's a really classic cocktail. And it's you see it in a lot of like older cocktail books, uh, most notably the Savoy. So we'll start with our Boss Armagnac. Um, we're sharing bottles here. So okay. grab your jigger. This is our measuring device. So as you can see inside, there's little lines. Uh, this little guy here is an ounce, and these are sort of fractions of that ounce. And inside okay. you have a two ounce here, and there's one line in there, and that's a fraction of that, which is an ounce and a half. We're gonna put okay. an ounce and a half of our Armagnac. This is the part I'm nervous about, is actually making the cocktail in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's it. Okay. So then we have three quarters of sweet vermouth. So that's the top line on your small. Okay. Not top, sorry, the line before the top. Beautiful. <laughs> and then we have three quarter ounce of dry vermouth. To that we add a quarter ounce of dry curacao. Curacao, you've had it, it's uh, an orange liqueur. I've used that before in my gross Halloween cocktails video. Did you watch that I one? I did watch that, it was <laughs> gross. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of components to this drink, it's kind of interesting. So to finish it off, we have some, just a couple drops of things. So on top of the dry curacao, uh, we're putting a little bit of orange bitters which is sort of like a more condensed version, a little more bitter. I'll just do that for okay, you. Okay, thank you. And then the highlight absinthe. is some absinthe. Um, absinthe is readily available these days. Does it have the wormwood in there? This one does, yes it does. Three to four drops Okay. absinthe, depending on your brand. If you can't get absinthe, Pernod or any anisette will do, which you can get at most grocery stores. All right, our cocktail is complete. So it's very common for spirit for a drink to be stirred. Okay. Because really what we're trying to do is bring the cocktail to a certain temp and give it a little dilution, but we don't want to over dilute it. 
And with the Spirit Forge drink, we want the texture to be there. We don't want it to be loosened. So, like how I said with the brandy, how it kind of coats the tongue, you still want that kind right. of. Feel. Whereas, like a margarita, it's you have a lot of sour, you have a lot of sweetness in there. It's really nice to have aeration. It gives it a different body. Okay. So you grab your spoon and stir. What is this method that's happening right now? There's different methods to do it. I typically hold my spoon between these two fingers and sort of pushing back and forward. All wrist. Wrist, 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 wrist. wrist. And how long do we do this for? That's good? It's a feeling. Oh, okay. You can definitely over dilute your drink. Don't overfill. Oh gosh. So let's do this together. How far do I go? We like to leave a, what we call a wash line. Perfect. And then to finish it off, we're just gonna put a little lemon oil on top. So it's yours. We're not gonna put this as a garnish. That's why it doesn't need to look pretty. Okay. The Bombay cocktail. All right. I'm excited. Cheers. 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 That is delicious. Light, it's fruity. I a little thought, bit of the anisette on the, the back now. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a lot more harsh, I guess, mm -hmm. but it's very easy to drink with all the components of like different things that had alcohol in it. I just really thought it was going to be very strong, but yeah. it is really light. Completely wow. slept on this drink. It's beautiful. Mm. Cheers. All right. That's it for this episode of Sipping Sista. Thank you so much for watching and thank you, Nicholas for coming on the show with me. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe below, come join the sisterhood. And also if you're in the San Francisco area, come visit Nicholas at True Laurel or at Lazy Bear. Thank you so much to Wild Hawk for letting us use their space. That's it for this episode. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm.